Hello, everyone. Welcome to this Let's Play video of Aircraft Carrier Survival. We just released the demo on Steam. It's part of the Steam Game Festival. It's only available for a couple of days. So while it's in there, do make sure to check it out. Click the course on the So today I'm gonna go through the mission of the game. And if you want to see the tutorial, you can see it on our YouTube channel. For now, I'm just gonna skip the tutorial. I'm gonna go with hard difficulty, just so, you know, in case I mess something up, <laughs> you can blame it on the hard difficulty and not on my hard skills. Okay, so let's start it, and I am gonna be skipping the tutorial. If you want to see the tutorial either, download the demo and play it yourself, or have a look at our YouTube channel, like I said. Okay, so let's start. So this is our character creation screen, and you can name your admiral whatever you want. So let's give him a name. It's an admiral that's going to be named Captain, Captain Weber. Let's do that. And you can set the traits. I'm going to go with human machine that gives you a little bit more endurance, which means that the admiral is going to be able to work in his room for a little longer. Um, and you can pick a voice. Your admiral. Hard is work is what keeps the ship moving. The voice that you pick is going to be used to give orders in the game, so that's pretty cool. And there's plenty of customization options. There's different faces. There's different uh, hair. There's different shirts. There's accessories, whatever you want. So I'm just going to quickly make him look a little bit cooler, just so it's a little bit more interesting. And the way that you see your Admiral here, this is the way he's going to look in the Officer Island one once you actually start the game. So, let's see how many shirts there are. I'm gonna pick this one. Yep, and the pants, and the portrait, and we're ready to go. So, we're gonna go into the intermission section. I'm not gonna go through every single little thing. It's better if you go through it yourself. But basically, I'm gonna be focusing on my defenses for this playthrough. So, I'm gonna go into carrier, and I'm going to get some anti-air guns. We have one entire base station uh, by default, so I'm gonna add another one. And you can also name your carrier, so I'm gonna name it the USS Hamilton. And as you can see, you can see that on the ship itself, uh, we're gonna have more carrier classes at some point. Right now, it's a Lexington available, but that's okay. And for the escort, we're gonna add an extra ship. And I'm gonna make it a cruiser. I'm also gonna go into the crew and see some of these guys already have two specialties. I'm gonna pick the ones that only have one and unlock some extra ones. Of course, my upgrade points are going down, but that's okay. Okay, and I think I'm ready to go, so let's launch it. So we're gonna go for the Coral Sea aftermath. And every single mission that we have in the game, every single map, is based on real events, on real places, so there's a little bit of history there. If there's something to be to play the game, we might enjoy that. Okay, so let's start it. We're gonna have to destroy a Japanese invasion fleet. And here's the thing. We have reached the Coral Sea, Admiral. The last scouting report confirmed the enemy invasion fleet progressing as expected. They will approach from here, here, or straight through this location. We can count on continuous support from land-based Australian scouts. Our recon has identified two harmless fleets in the area. No aircraft carriers were spotted. As a reminder, our main objective is to defend Port Moresby. Based on the CIC analysis, the optimal position to launch an airstrike against the invasion fleet is from Zone G7. Okay, so as I was saying, the thing here is that we have limited time, right? Because the invasion is gonna happen if we don't do anything. So we're gonna focus on stopping that. So I like to prepare a little bit at first. So let's start with the crew management. So I specifically picked some guys with a navigation specialty because the navigation department makes you use less supplies. Um, and that lets you stay on the sea longer so you don't have to stop and resupply. So I'm gonna put some of these guys who have this specialty into the navigation department and I'm also gonna put some of my guys into the AA section because the AA section is going to give me defense points and I want those defense points. As you can see them 
going up here, there's five right now. That's a pretty good start, but we're not stopping there. We're going to go to our island. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this um, Navy officer here. Awaiting orders! And I'm gonna put him in the CAC because it's a Navy room, so we need a Navy officer. And that's also gonna give me- Roger that! Another defense point. As you can see, now I have six. So that's a pretty good start. But I want to be able to use two of these orders at any point, essentially. So I want to be able to use the resupply order. As you can see, it uses one Navy point, one air point, and I want to be able to use the defensive position order, which needs two Navy points. So let's take our Admiral. Better get to it. The Admiral can work in both types of rooms because he has both AV, Navy and air skills. So let's put him in the coding Full room. Full focus now. So now we have the two Navy points. We can use the defensive position order and we need a person, an officer in an air room to be able to launch the resupply. So let's move our last officer. Sir. Yes, sir. To this room. And now we're prepared here. One last thing I would like to do for preparation. I'm gonna go below the deck. And I am going to move, let's close this menu here. Uh, I am going to move my DC team so they're sort of evenly distributed, more or less. I'm gonna take these Ready. guys and I'm gonna put them into the box. Yes, sir! And now, if any sort of flooding happens, they should just get on that immediately. So this guy's sort of in the middle, that's fine, and this team is at the end. So this is actually a pretty good setup that I don't really need to change, which is more just convenient. And they're in the pumps now, perfect. Okay, so let's go to our deck, and let's have a look at the tactical map. So we do have this objective location here, but I'm actually not gonna go to it. I'm gonna move my waypoint sort of here, because I just prefer this location to that one. Okay. And let's speed up, maximum speed, so we get there as soon as we can. And as you can see, I've already been detected, which means there's gonna be some incoming attacks. And I'm gonna have, I'm gonna tell you something interesting about the attacks. But for now, let's close this since nobody's attacking me yet. And let's get some more planes on the deck. I'm gonna get another bomber, dive bomber, and another bomber actually and then once that's done because as you can see we can only queue two actions on the deck so once one of those is done i'm gonna queue a torpedo bomber to be placed on the deck and that will allow me to launch like really really powerful attacks and use the most powerful strategies so okay we're done with that and let's get a torpedo bomber going everything is looking good Nobody's attacking me yet. We are sailing towards our destination. Okay, everything is looking fine. Okay, let's close this. Our escort's looking good. We got our cruisers. They're giving us some extra defense points, which seriously, if you want an easier playthrough, get as much defense as you can. It's gonna make things a lot easier. If you want a real challenge, don't keep your defenses low and you know deal with the consequences of every attack right so before we get there not much is happening so i actually want to sort of see if we have any enemies somewhere nearby so i'm gonna use a spotting mission oh i need a right let's plan this um let's close the map and i'm not gonna be able to launch it yet because oh sorry you need to click it first so that it's brief, it's ready to launch, but I'm not going to be able to do it because I need a fighter. So let's get the fighter on deck. And once that's done, we're going to be able to launch our spotting mission. And what the spotting mission does is it basically just increases the range in which you see enemies around you and things around you. So it is pretty useful, especially when you're getting attacked because the Japanese fleets launch this mission because the Japanese fleets uh, they can see further you might not be able to see them but you can be detected by them like I am right now and they're gonna be launching attacks and here's an attack incoming so this is an attack of five I have six points so I don't need to worry about that but this is coming sort of from up north 
sort of to the west. Okay, so because it's coming from that direction, I can sort of deduce where the enemy is going to be. And as you can see, my spotting mission already increased this visibility range here. So, oh, and there we go. Like I said, northwest-ish. Okay. So, let's click on this enemy. And let's see what we're dealing with. Let's identify this ship. So, as you can see here how many funnels it has. It has zero funnels. And length, it has 127. So, I like to look for the funnels first because that's a little easier. And it's probably a light carrier because everything matches. The thing is, you're not always going to be able to identify ships perfectly. Sometimes you might have to do a little guess guesswork. But once you attack them, you're going to know exactly what's in their fleet. So, let's choose this light carrier. It doesn't really do anything in particular. It doesn't have any defense or offense. But I am going to attack it, actually. And let's just retrieve it from here. And I'm going to attack it with something, like, just with one, no, actually, let's attack it with one torpedo. Because I just want to check what we're dealing with. I want to see what the actual fleet composition is. So, oh, and I have to be quick. Um, yeah, let's get one more torpedo out. Now let me send one out. Is it a torpedo? I think it was a torpedo. Okay, I'm just gonna check later. Right, so. And there's the attack. Like I said, we had more defense. That's okay. Nothing really happened. Let's just check the local attack just to be safe. Everything is looking fine here. No fires, no floods. Everything is good. Okay, let's go back to the deck. And it looks like we found a new enemy. Oh, it's actually the same enemy. He probably disappeared from our visibility range for a second. Okay, right, well, we're gonna see what we're dealing with once once our squadrons come back. They're gonna tell us exactly what the fleet composition is so I can check it out here. Okay, let's close this map. And why I said, the reason I said that I have to hurry with sending the mission is because it was 8 p.m. And at 10 p.m. you cannot send missions anymore until 4 a.m. And once you plan a mission, it becomes obsolete after some time because uh, the information you have becomes outdated, things like that. So you have to be wary of that because you're not going to be able to do much if you forget. Okay, so let's get another torpedo in case I forget to, you know, get that one. Uh, and let's change our deck state so we're ready to retrieve our squadrons. This is how we're doing on the map. Doing good. Respawn the deck. Prepare for launching. Perfect. Okay. Uh, right. This is gonna take a lot to get there. That's okay. So these missions, the spotting mission is about to come back, and the attack mission is coming back soon after. So I'm really hoping we don't miss them because as you can see moving the deck from landing state to launching state and vice versa that takes a while especially if you have a lot of squadrons on the deck right okay so oh that's perfect timing and our spawning is coming back let's retreat. stand by to recover aircraft oh and because I want to get the attack one, I'm not going to have enough room on deck because I have six squadrons out. So I'm actually going to... I'm going to put these torpedo bombers back because I'm going to retrieve uh, torpedo bombers from this attack mission. Move the torpedo bomber squadron back to the hangar. Right, so that's going back to the hangar. We can close this mission. We still have time to retrieve this one, that's okay. And the night is almost over, so we can start our attacks again. And what you see happening here, the way the planes sort of move around the deck to make room for the other ones, this is actually based on real schematics for how the planes are supposed to be moved. So that's a little tidbit right there. Okay, so this is done, and we can now retrieve our- Stand by to recover aircraft. 
And once we retrieve our attack, we're going to know exactly what we attacked and how the attack went. Um, as you remember, I wasn't really going for a strong attack. I just wanted to sort of see what we're dealing with, what's in the fleet. And right, because my spotting mission came back, I can no longer see the enemy, but that's okay. I'm just going to send another one once we get this one. Okay, and let's move the deck back to... Respawn the deck! Prepare for recovery! Let's look at the results. I'm not going to watch a replay right now, I'm just going to skip it. Okay, so it's a heavy carrier, a torpedo boat, a food supply, and a light carrier. Right, so sending a torpedo was not a good idea because torpedo boats are pretty strong against torpedoes. So next time we should probably send bombers. And heavy carriers as well, they have a lot of defenses, they're pretty tough to work with. Okay, so this is not an easy enemy, actually. We might not have enough time to deal with them. Okay, let's send another spotting mission so we know what's happening around us. Planned, briefed, ready to launch, let's go. And I don't know if that enemy moved out of our visibility range yet or not, but we might be able to see them. And I'm just gonna update the info that I have here. So, it was a heavy carrier, it was a torpedo boat, there it is, and a food supply, right. So yeah, it has strong defenses against torpedo bombers, so we need to attack them with dive bombers the next time. And dive bombers are pretty good against heavy carriers as well, in general. So, right, let's close this, and, oh, our officers are exhausted, let's go see them. Mm, let's just sir. move them to the Thank you, sir. so they can rest up a little bit. Ready, okay, sir. There's no attack incoming right now. We're good on supplies. We have about half of the supply storage built. That's fine. Leaving position. Let's just let them rest a little bit. Same old, same old. Good work. Okay. And let's go back to our deck. Our spawning is up. He's running away. Okay, let's attack him again. Alright, and let's pick them up here. And let's use dive bombers this time. I have three on deck, so that's fine. And let's use these three strategies. You can see by the color which type of plane it's using, so it's really easy. Confirm this, and let's see. Oh yeah, brief it. Ready to launch, let's do it. I wonder how that's gonna do. I hope we're gonna do well. And, oh. Oh, it's just showing the same enemy again, right? Because we didn't see them for a while because we didn't have the spotting and I didn't click the event icon. Right, our spotting is looking good. I'm hoping the attack mission is gonna come in before the spotting does because I want to keep seeing this enemy here. At least now we know exactly what we're dealing with because I sent that one torpedo. I know what their fleet composition is, so I can plan decent strategies. And I, I'm hoping we have enough time to attack the invasion fleet. I'm hoping attacking this enemy is not gonna get in the way of that, but probably not. Okay. Um, oh, and one little, one more little thing. If uh, this is a little slow for you, you can always speed up the time, like so. I'm not going to do that because I actually enjoy watching this. Let's have a look. Love deck. Everything is looking good. Good so far. Right. These guys are in the pumps. That's great. Our planes are starting. This is looking good. And off they go. Right. Okay. Let's go back to the deck. And we're going to be retrieving these guys, so let's switch the deck stage. Respawn the deck! Prepare for launching! For landing. Um, and oh, this is a little bit of a problem because they're gonna be coming in at almost exactly the same time. So I just hope we managed to get both of them. The aircraft spawning is going to take a lot less time, so I'm just going to start with that one, especially since it's going to finish 
earlier, a little earlier. Oh, actually, I think our officers, while we wait, our officers should probably be rested enough. So let's go and see how they're doing. And let's move them back Admiral, to... the strategic position deduced earlier is no longer advantageous. Luckily, Australian scouts have been able to locate the invasion fleet on the Solomon Sea. Our flag plotting recommends an immediate attack on Zone E3. Okay, E3. So we know where the enemy is. Okay, let's just move them quickly. Awaiting orders. Yes, back sir. To their positions. Same old, same old. On the double! Sir! Roger that! Okay, and... Right, I need to get these guys back so I have all of my squadrons on deck. And once they're here, I'm just going to attack E3. E3 is here. Because this guy, he's not even sending that many attacks against me, so it's okay. I don't know where the other enemies are. They're probably a little further away, so we kind of got lucky here. Because they're, it could have got a lot worse, especially on the hard difficulty. Like, it could have been attack after attack. Oh, okay. Maybe I said that too soon, because we just got detected by another enemy. So, yeah, I'm expecting more attacks now, but hopefully we can deal with them. We have six of defense. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And we also have this defensive position order, just in case, which also gives you two more points. Okay, let's get the aircraft spawned. Stand by to recover aircraft. Back on the back and cue the attack mission right after that. And I'm actually curious to see how we did. And it's 4 p.m. now, so we might be able to launch an attack on E3 today, which would be good, because like I said, we have limited time. So this is, you know, a little stressful, a little intense. Okay, so the spotting is recovered, and now we attack, and while once we recover our attack mission, Let's change the deck state so we can launch our attack. Oof, we set three squadrons, so it might take a while. I'm a little worried we're not going to make it. But let's keep our fingers crossed. Maybe we can. Oh, and we only have four hours. Yeah. That's probably not going to be possible. Okay. Although maybe, maybe we can manage it. Maybe we can. There's just one more squadron. And, okay, let's, just in case, let's plan this mission. So, it's an attack on E3, like they said, so about here. Let's grab it from here. That's right. Um, and let's use like really strong ones. Let's do target fixation, let's do the big game hunt, and let's do the and maneuver, and that should destroy them. So let's confirm it, close the map, and it's planned, it's briefed. If we don't manage to make it on time, that's okay, but maybe we will. We have all the squadrons necessary, and we have two hours. Oh, they're still recovering. Oh, we're not gonna make it. This mission is gonna become obsolete. But that's okay. Th that's gonna happen every now and again. Okay, let's just move this along a little bit. Oh, the squadron is still coming up from over there. Okay. Yeah, we have 45 minutes. There's no way we can- Respot the deck! Yeah. Prepare for recovery! There's no way we can do that and <laughs> make it before the night. Oh, that's such a shame. That is such a shame. But let's see how our attack went. Okay, we sank the heavy carrier, so that's pretty good. Um, they might not be able to send as many attacks on us now because they don't have the carrier, so that's good. Uh, right, but like I said, let's focus. Yeah, it's already 10.15. We're not gonna be able to do it tonight. Oh, that's a shame, that's a shame. Okay move a little further but not at full speed we don't need full speed now we can't do a sort of ah, this is like a medium speed okay let's close this map our officers are doing good our squadrons are ready we can close this oh and we are running low on supplies this is perfect that this is happening at night actually because resupplying takes a while and 
the enemy cannot send attacks at night either, so this should be pretty safe. So let's issue a resupply order right Commence now. replenishment at sea. And we're gonna get our supplies back, so we're gonna be ready. Ah, oh, yeah, it became obsolete. It's okay. We're gonna be ready for the next day. Okay, so we had to stop completely now because the resupplying have to be stopped. So we dropped anchors and we're just waiting. And we have 18 hours until the invasion hits, which does stress me out a little bit. But okay, it's already almost 1 a.m. We have all of the squadrons that I want for the attack on deck. So let's open them up again and just send it to E3. But the thing is, they could have moved, but we know where they're headed. They're headed to Port Moresby over here. So even if they were here earlier and they moved a bit, if I send this attack here, we should be able to hit them anyway. And let's grab them from here. Okay, so once again, big game hunt, anvil maneuver, and which one was I using? Target fixation. And it's 2 a.m. Let's wait a moment so that this mission doesn't become obsolete. I really want to destroy this invasion fleet before it gets to Port Moresby. Okay, we have an hour and a half until the night is over and we can launch the missions again. So let's confirm it. Right, all of our squadrons are armed. They're all on deck. Just waiting to be sent out. It's looking good. Our deck is in the right state. Everything is planned. Let's brief it. And it's ready to launch. We have half an hour. Hopefully we do hit them. Hopefully they didn't move away too far. Okay. Right. And how are you doing below deck? Everything is perfectly fine. Let's move back onto the deck and let's start this mission because it is now 4 a.m. Okay. I really hope we get them. I really hope we hit them and I really hope we sink them. Let's look at it from another angle. These are all good. Oh, that's the resupply ship. There they go. Oh, okay, we have an attack in camp. Oh, oh no, this is a nine. This is a nine attack. That's a strong attack, we only have three. Okay, uh, very, very quickly, let's uh, send a combat air patrol mission immediately. Um, planned. Let's go to the deck and let's send it because that's gonna give us some more defenses. Hopefully they make it on time. I really hope they do because this is not very far away. And the combat air patrol is gonna give us some extra defenses and then we're gonna add a defensive position order. Assume defensive position. So now we have two more points. We have eight. They have nine. We have to at least match them. So I'm hoping this, if this combat air patrol mission starts on time before they get here, we're just gonna match them. We just have to match them. So if, if, if we do manage to do this, this is gonna be fine. If not, it's also not gonna be a, you know, it's not gonna be a huge problem because the difference in our defense and their attack is not that great. So we're not gonna take that much damage, but it's easier to prevent damage than to use damage control to fix it once it's already done, right? Okay, so they are ready to launch. They're moving back to their positions. And the attack is very, very close and they're launching. We might not make it in time. Maybe just barely, maybe just barely with a little bit of luck. We had so much luck so far, so maybe this time as well. Because it, they are launching. And the attack is very, very close now. Okay. Right, we just need one more defense point to match. Right, and we didn't make it. 
on time. That is too bad. Right, okay. That's too bad. That's really too bad. Okay, let's just get this Comet Air Patrol back because the whole point of it was to prevent this attack and it didn't. And we have issues now. Okay, let's just get them down. From Stand by to recover aircraft. And oh no. Okay. Oh boy, we're dealing with fire. Okay. Uh, these guys are on pumps, so let's just use this button. Let's take these guys. On your command. And yes, sir. Fire. Hopefully it doesn't spread too much before we fix it. Is there anything else happening? Nope. Everything else is looking good. Oh boy, okay. We, we are gonna have some casualties. We are gonna have some casualties. Our crewmen are becoming injured. Okay. But, hopefully, our attack went well, right? And because I wanted to get this combat air patrol. Yes! And we did it! Okay, we managed to launch the invasion fleet before our ship completely caught on fire. That's very very good okay so we did make it on time everything went well okay so here's the thing i'm not gonna press this continue button here because if i did we would go to the victory screen and the victory screen contains a code for some rewards that you can use in the full version of the game so now that you got all of my hints and you know all the little tricks and you should be able to finish this mission yourself and get to this final screen and see the code for yourself. So go onto Steam, look for Aircraft Carrier Survival Demo, play it, win the mission, and win some rewards. And thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun. I sure did. And I hope you check out the game on Steam. Thanks so much once again. Bye!